What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Really appreciate you guys hanging out for another video. Uh, I'm excited to be partnering with Reverb.com to talk about picking out your first acoustic guitar. It's a question I get a lot, and I've been thinking about some different aspects to share with you about getting that first guitar. So the first factor to think about when picking out your very first guitar is obviously your budget. And in my opinion, I think you're gonna wanna spend about $200 to get a really nice guitar that you can learn on. You don't have to worry about the $1,200 guitar, the $2,000 guitar. You can get that later after you've been uh, jamming for a while. The other thing is, as far as accessories, no fancy accessories are needed. I would suggest a clip-on tuner and a simple gig bag. You know, it's a soft bag that the guitar can be held in there and you'll be good to go. So once you got your budget figured out, you gotta figure out what kind of guitar to get. Now this guitar has steel strings on it. The other kind of strings that you would find are called nylon strings, which are those clear plastic looking strings. The nylon strings are more typical with classical guitar or Spanish guitar, whereas the steel strings are more common with pop, funk, blues, you know, the contemporary styles that I feel like most of you will like. So let's go for steel string. Now there's also different shapes and sizes of guitars. Now for a little kid, you might not want what's considered a jumbo guitar, which would be even bigger than this. Now this style guitar is called a grand auditorium. However, the most common shape of acoustic guitar that you're gonna find is the classic dreadnought shape. There's also jumbo guitars, which are obviously bigger, boomier, and louder, but are also gonna probably be a little bit more uncomfortable to start with. But then you also have what are called parlor size guitars, which are a little bit smaller and skinnier. And then you also have what are called three quarter size guitars, which tend to be more like student models. But if you're a kid or you feel like your hands are really small or you're just not sure, you might wanna go for a three quarter size guitar. However, once you get good on it, you're gonna kinda of want a bigger, louder sounding guitar. So I'm gonna leave that up to you. You might have friends or family that have different guitars. You might wanna try a few of them out and see what they feel like. So another aspect for learning guitar that's gonna be really important is the action. And what the action means, besides you know something that's exciting, <laughs> it's not as exciting as it sounds, but it's, uh, it's actually the distance of the strings off the fretboard. If this is the fretboard and these are the strings, the higher, the higher up, the harder it's gonna be and the more strength it's gonna take to get a clean tone out of it. So you're gonna want a guitar with low action. It'll be less frustrating to get those clean tones out and to get going playing songs. So another feature that's on different types of guitars, more advanced guitars usually, is this little cutaway right here. Now this, as a beginner, this cutaway is not something you, that you're really gonna wanna worry about because when you're learning, you're gonna spend most of your time up in this area. This is more for when you're reaching up and doing soloing. Now what I've seen that I'm getting really excited about the technology that's going out there is guitar companies are able to make really nice playing guitars with cheaper materials. So yeah, maybe it doesn't sound as good as a professional model, but it still has great tone and it's really playable. So on a more affordable model, you're gonna see different woods like cedar and mahogany. And if you're not sure which one sounds better to your own ear, you may wanna have a friend try out different guitars and have you stand you know, maybe 10 feet back and listen to the ones that sound good to you. So also you're gonna have different choices on the finishes and gloss that goes on the guitar. Now I find with the more affordable entry level guitars, you're gonna get what's called a satin finish, which isn't as shiny. You know, the layer is less thick. You can kind of feel the wood through it, but you're gonna save a ton of money with a satin finish. So if you're ready right now, head over to Reverb.com. Every type of guitar, wood, style, everything I mentioned is available there for you to check out. It's also a great resource for selling gear. You can sell a guitar on there. You can buy a guitar on there. You can buy new stuff. You can buy used stuff. I use it all the time. They're super trustworthy and uh, you got to check them out. All right, there it was. Hope you had fun. Also, thanks to Reverb.com. They're actually going to be sponsoring a giveaway for $500 of Reverb bucks to help one of you guys buy your first guitar. It's exclusive to Marty Music and my viewers. So go check out the info box for the link and good luck and we'll see you later.